What's up YouTube, Nerdtron64 here, back with another pickup video. Okay, so this is from a few weeks ago and got quite a bit of cool stuff. So the first sale that I went to um, was just down the road and I went and it was like a teenage girl and her mom and I was looking around and they had a few things so um, I ended up getting this backpack Pretty cool. Has a lot of older figure or characters and stuff on it. And they had a lot of Mario shirts and a lot of different like nerdy shirts and things like that. So I asked about video games and they said no. So I was looking around the sale and um, then a little bit later she was kind of like asking what I was looking for exactly. So I was naming some of the old stuff. So she's like, oh yeah, I did have a DS or whatever. So she goes in and grabs a DS and a couple junky games and so I'm looking at it and her mom comes over and says 50 for it so there's no way I'm gonna pay 50 for it and then she was talking about how she had like two PS Vitas that had broken um, so then she got this other one and um, so she was asking if I would want that but it's just funny like you would mention all these different things and everybody's like, oh no, we don't have anything. Oh, but I do have this. And they're like, oh, but I do have this. So anyway, so she brings out the Vita and ended up wanting, her mom said 150 at first. So I'm just like, oh, there's no, no way or whatever. So she was asking how much I wanted to pay for any of the games and stuff like this. So I said like a dollar a piece. And she's like, oh, no way. And then she went down finally to like 75 or 100, 120 for the Vita and the DS. I'm just like, I'm not. It's the first sale, and I don't want to spend all my money for the first sale just on these two things or whatever. Um, so I said I might be back or whatever, but um, picked up this bag anyway. After all, failing, I'm not going to put all that stupid. Who cares about all that, right? So anyway, I picked up this bag for three bucks. At that sale, I didn't think that was too bad. It's in really nice shape, feels new and crisp or whatever. Um, this sale, it was a couple people who just moved into this trailer park, um, asked about video games, and they said no, I was looking around, and um, then they said, oh, we do have some like PlayStation stuff and Xbox stuff or whatever. Went inside, and they could only find this beat up box of um, Blitz, the League for the 360. This disc is in decent shape. Um, the box is all beat up, but offer them a dollar for it and they took that. Um, let's see. Went to this other sale and they had a couple games out. They wanted two dollars a piece. So I got these three and I think I offered them three dollars or five dollars. I can't remember. Um, but Smackdown vs. Raw for the PS2. Bicycle Casino, and then UFC Undisputed 2010. So I didn't think I had those games, so I picked those up. I think, like I said, for $3 or $5, I can't really remember. Um, went to this other sale, they had a few things sitting out, and they had crazy prices on all of them, like $10 a piece, $5 a piece for some, but I ended up getting these two for five total. Uh, so for PS3, Remember Me. Hadn't heard of that one before, Capcom. And the Steelbook version of Beyond Two Souls. And I just heard a video, or saw a video about that kind of like right before I went to the sales. Uh, I think like the day or two before. Um, but Steelbook, so I thought that both of those for five bucks, wasn't too bad. Okay, so 
Okay, now I remember now. These three. These three, and then these two, CSI. CSI, three dimensions of murder. And then 50 Cent Bulletproof. Um, they had 50 Cent Bulletproof sitting out, and then I asked if they had any more, and they said they had a bunch of Wii games or something they thought back in the shed, so they went and looked for like 10 minutes, came out and brought those other four games, um, and I ended up getting them all for a dollar a piece. Right, so it was five dollars for those. Went to the next sale here, and they had this game sitting out, The Sims 4 for the Xbox One. And uh, asked how much, they said two bucks, and they had a lot of other nerdy stuff out, a lot of action figures and things like that, and they said that they didn't have anything else left, like they had sold a bunch of stuff or whatever, but they had that for two bucks, so I thought I might as well get it. Um, let's see. Got this Sonic Blast plug and play, um, I believe for a dollar. The other random sale, um, the guy had a bunch of video games, I remember I asked um, if he had anything, he brought out a bunch of stuff, but they wanted like 10 bucks a piece and stuff for the PS2 games, things that weren't worth it. And a different sale, this guy had a bunch of um, like baseball cards and he had a bag of these Marvel, like X-Men and other types of cards like that. Uh, which I was kind of interested in, but I think he wanted like 15 for it. I don't know too much about it, so I didn't know if any of them were really worth it. <clears throat> but had this sitting on the shelf, just an OG Xbox controller, and I believe I offered him a dollar for it. He took that. Um, said he didn't have any other kind of video game stuff at all, uh, but he'd sell that for a dollar. This sale, I got. Fallout 3 Prima Official Game Guide, and all the books were uh, 50 cents, and this was sitting out there, and he had a bunch of brand new stuff, like um, a lot of those little bags you see at like Target and stuff that have the random figures and things like that in them, um, and a bunch of brand new things like knives and can openers and weird things like that. So I asked about any other video game stuff, he said no. Um, then as you know, the conversation went on or whatever, he asked if I was a collector or a reseller. And I could tell that this guy was a reseller. And so I said that I collect video games, um, blah, blah, blah. He pulled out um, like a 360 and a PS2, but he won like 30 and 20 for him. Pulled out some games and he said 10 a piece, and so I wasn't gonna pay. 10 for the games he had. I think they were like UFC games or boxing or something like that. I'm not going to pay 10 bucks for those, but got this for 50 cents. Not too bad. I like having uh, game guides and stuff to collect dust on the shelf. Right? Mm -hmm. um, this was like one of the last sales of the day, and I went and they had some PlayStation socks um, sitting out and like lanyard things and different things like that. And this was sitting out there. He also has some like new GoPros and some of the um, like generation back GoPros and stuff that I was looking at, but then the guy who was who got there before me, I guess was gonna pick all of that stuff up. So uh, I was curious to see how much he was gonna sell all that for. But um, Star Wars Battlefront 2, and he had $10 on it and I offered him five and he took that. Um, it's still sealed, so I didn't think that was too bad. And I kind of wanted to try, to try it out. I know a lot of um, people talking crap about it because the different, I think like loot boxes or some kind of deal or whatever with it, I'm not sure. Uh, but for five bucks, I didn't think that was that uh, bad of a deal. Then later finding out that you probably get that for five bucks anywhere else also, but that's all right. Um, went to, this other sale, and um, the kid looked like he probably had video games, maybe mid 20s, something like that. Um, so I asked about different game systems, and whenever I ask about like old games, I usually start off and say like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega, stuff like that. 
And if they kind of like nod their and like shake their head or something, I say you know like 64 or PlayStation, Game Boy, anything. Um, but I had seen a lot of videos lately about GameCube stuff, so I just started off with GameCube and I just said oh, I'm kind of looking for like GameCube and things like that. And the kid said, oh, I have a GameCube inside. <clears throat> so he goes in, he grabs it, comes out with this GameCube, two controllers also. And he says, I'll give it to you for a buck. So I'm like, oh, I'll definitely take that for a dollar. I'm like, you don't happen to have like any games for it or anything like that, do you? And he said, no, I don't have any games anymore. I don't really, haven't played for a while. Um, they're all... They're in the garage or whatever, I have like one game and it's in the middle of the garage, I can't really get to it. So I'm like, okay, well what game is it? And he's like, oh, it's just Mario Kart. So I'm just like, oh man, he sold me this for a dollar, like I was hoping to get that for a dollar or something like that. Couldn't get him to go back inside and grab it out of the garage. I guess it was too far out of reach, he says. So that's always kind of heartbreaking when something like that happens. But that's all right. Um, this next one was probably the biggest sale, or um, I don't know if it was the best or not. Um, the GameCube was probably the best deal, but um, went to this house, had a bunch of kids outside. The mom was probably like in her um, early 30s or something like that. And they had this guy sitting in a um, little box, and they were marked 25 cents. So I knew this was from those Disney Infinity games, so they had some sort of video game stuff. So I got that, I got a Bowser figure, which my kids took, I have no idea where it is anymore because it was a few weeks ago, like I said. Um, and what was the other one I got, do you remember? I got four of them total, I remember, because I just wanted to get it for an even dollar. I don't remember what else, but then... This Wolverine Funko Pop bobblehead, which the heat of the car, the adhesive um, got loose and his head popped off, but that should be pretty easy to fix. But Wolverine, my favorite superhero, the OG yellow and blue. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. 25 cents. But when that's about video games. And. They had a bunch of DVDs and stuff out and they are pretty cheap, so I thought that if they had any video games, maybe they let them go for kind of cheap, so she said she had a bunch of Wii stuff, so, um, but they still play it, um, they're still trying to teach the kids to play it and things, but she might have a few games that they don't play, so she went in and she had Wii Fit Plus, Disney Planes, sealed still, and then Epic Mickey. Which I still never played, but I heard is a pretty good game. Um, she brought out those three. Got into my whole spiel or whatever, and then DS comes up. So she said, oh, we have a ton of DS stuff also. So she comes up with this stack of DS games. And um, a couple of DSs also. I guess I'll show this first. A 3DS, the blue one. Um, powered it up, works great. Um, Joystick and everything feels good on it. Uh, it has stickers on it. It has a sticker on the back also, which I tried to get off, but I need to get that residue off. And then the stack of games. So, the Backyard Agains. Iron Man 2. Sonic Rush. Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood. Go Diego Go, Great Dinosaur Rescue. Um, Lego Battles Ninjago. Superhero Squad. Puss in Boots. Treasure Adventures. SpongeBob Atlantis SquarePants. Garfield Gets Real, Superhero Squad, The Infinity Gauntlet, Go Diego Go, Safari Rescue, and she had a few 3DS games also, 
Big Hero 6. I actually played this for a little bit and it's kind of fun. A little action platformer type deal. Uh, Lego Star Wars 3, Clone Wars. Lego Marvel Super Heroes Universe in, Universe in Peril. And then Wreck-It Ralph. So she brought all that stuff. Um, she said a dollar a piece for the Wii games. And then she had originally said 50 for all of the DS stuff. So the DS, the 3DS. The DS was just one of the black and red ones, which I already have. Um, then 17 games. I believe Hulk was in here, is that right? And then Hulk was loose. Um, so 17 ga 18 games with the Hulk, the 3DS, and the black and red DS for 50 bucks. And I didn't want to pay 50 bucks, it was towards the end of the day, but um, so I said how much for like just the DS's by themselves, or just the games by themselves, or whatever. So she said like 10 apiece for the DS's, and then 30 for all the games. Um, and she said a dollar a piece for the Wii stuff that she wanted separately. Um, but ended up putting, like, so putting back the regular DS or whatever, so I'm just like, would you take 30 for all of this stuff? And then she's like, oh, I think 40 is a pretty fair price. So looking at it, I was like, yeah, 40 is a decent price or whatever, so I gave her the 40 bucks. Um, and then in the end, she didn't charge me for the Wii games, so I got like the three Wii games. Um, 18 DS games and then the 3DS for 40 bucks. So I didn't think that was too bad. The 3DS itself um, is definitely worth that. Um, like I said, I already had that DS and thinking back on it now, I probably should have just picked it up for another 10. I could have made like 15 bucks or something like that, I think, off of it. But um, yeah, pretty good day. A lot of stuff that week. Um, a lot of things to go through. So. Um, thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you did, um, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I'd appreciate it. And I will catch you on the next video.